Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Jeff again coming to you from the Minecraft server and you're probably watching this episode while I'm at PAX because PAX, I leave four in the morning. So this will be going up while I'm gone at PAX, which is nice that I'll be able to have something for you. But unfortunately, because of that aspect, I've been trying to record. Why? Why would somebody do that? I understand if you wanted ice, but you could have just came and taken the ice and left it as a an ice cube tray that it was working as. <laughs> it was kind of nice on my mountain up here. Uh, I do have a silk touch pick somewhere. Either way, whatever. I can always put that back. That was just kind of kind of weird. I think I can just fill it with water actually and uh, fill it back up. Looks like they just cleared out all my ice. That's strange. No, I will admit that I was not the first person working on it. I think Doc was up here first using it for ice. So um, maybe he considers it his ice, which is fine. It's easy to take care of. There's creepers everywhere. But I wanted to, before I went to PAX, kind of go out in this direction slightly and see where the world border has taken us in here in this oceany biome. I don't know if anybody else has gone out there. Uh, I'm sure somebody has gone and explored it, but I really wanted to go check it out. I think I just put that in on, there we go, on the edge. Oh, but as I was saying, it's uh, I'm trying to record a decent amount of things, and unfortunately it's making it so my video, yeah, somebody's gone that way at least. It's making it so my video is uh, a little choppy because I'm doing a lot of rendering at the time. It's kind of nice the way that this goes. The boat won't explode if I hit this edge, will it? It will. Well, that's something to know. I guess it, it acts as a, that's, kind of crazy it acts as a water barrier um like there's a step up to land and the way it makes you jump so i guess i couldn't go as far as i thought i was going to be able to go to explore back here but i kind of want to check out the edge of this savanna over here uh i mean obviously not much of it has opened up yet but i do want to check out just the edge of it and see what's there there's lighting probably from torch tuesday it also could be from is this generic's place? Uh, I, I'm not actually sure whose place. Oh no, this actually is the. This might be the beginnings of Goodland, actually. And unfortunately, I haven't spent too much time on this server. I know that's upset a couple people, so there's not really too much that it opened up this direction that I was hoping. I'm going to make another boat and go back there. I actually want to get into the bottom of that spire over there and see if there's anything cool down there. Sight of Seb's super sensational superplex of awe. So I guess Seb has claimed the savannah, which is fine. I didn't want anything to really do with the savannah. I just wanted to go digging around it and check out if there was any more caves that might have made their way to fruition uh, so I can get some more stuff. I know some people were upset that I haven't been spending too much time on this series. And part of it's because... It's very difficult for me to spend much time on this series with the small world border because I can't just... I, I would get on in a small area and do something, but it's hard to gather a lot of resources to do things with. So I haven't just been able to jump on and gather the resources in the small space that there is to see if there was anything like to build anything. And I know somebody else was actually extremely agitated at the fact that I'm look to stop the stop the how do you how do you slow down a boat holding backwards apparently doesn't help slow down a boat at all um forward and steer I know that they've changed it to that but how do you nope I have abs nope I just have no clue how to stop a boat so I guess that's the way it's going to be. Um, but they were very upset that I don't have gear. They said it's like a month in and you don't you don't use iron gear. What's wrong with you? And I, okay, understand what you're saying to an extent. Uh, right now I'm wearing nothing. 
So that means I, I had pans that must have broken. Yeah, I have nothing. I don't feel the need right now to utilize my iron uh, on myself as iron gear. There's some things I want to do with the ski hill that are going to require iron. So I figured instead of just wasting it and making iron gear for myself, that I was going to try to collect as much iron as I could as a safety net for the future ski hill stuff. And uh, I guess that's upset some people, but you know what? That's that's the reasoning behind it. Uh, like it or not, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. That's that's what I'm going to do. Speaking of which, here's some iron right here. Beautiful. I mean, I have like, I think I have like a stack or two stacks of iron between my apartment at the uh, Seth Bling Towers and my ski hill area. So I'm not... I don't have zero iron. I just didn't want to use it. That's one thing I was actually really shocked about at the beginning of this was to see so many people with full diamond gear spending the limited diamonds that we had on the diamond gear as opposed to utilizing it for like picks and things like that. But I mean, to each their own. That's their prerogative prerogative and what they wanted to do with it. I hear a bat, so there's a cave somewhere here. It's probably one that's already been explored. If I can even find this cave. Not sure how findable this is going to be. I don't hear any enemies in it, I just hear bats, so... That does definitely lead me to believe it's an explored cave already. So let's see. So anyways, yep, PAX Prime coming up. I leave tomorrow. I will be coming back on Tuesday. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't seen the guys in person since PAX East. And I'm really looking forward to just like the weekend away. Uh, hanging out with the guys. Having a good old time. I love hanging out with the Minecraft crew. They're just so much fun. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. The unfortunate part for me. Not actually unfortunate, but... I start teaching my class. Oh, there. I hear I hear somebody. I hear somebody. I hear a lot of somebody's. I start teaching my class right after the holiday. So I'm going to be gone for the planning time frame, essentially. And I'm having a tough time getting things organized to be able to teach. Because I'm one of multiple instructors for this class. And granted that we do have academic freedom in our teaching it is we're trying to keep somewhat standardized in what we're doing and oh wow oh wow does this go up to the surface no it doesn't i just found a kick-ass ravine that the bottom's been explored but the top hasn't and i already see some iron and stuff that i want that's good that spider thought he was coming all the way up here uh, so it's just, there's been a lot of changes to the class in the last week as well. They're trying to update it for some things, which is making it extremely difficult as well because we're running into such a close time frame to when the class starts and keeping everything in order. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm surprised I'm as nervous about teaching. I just don't want to, like, when you're in a class, you take a class, you try to learn, you try to get all these good things going, and you, you don't really go in with a, well, if I fail, I fail, blah, blah, blah. But you go in with a, I know what I have to do to get by, and that's what's important. Whereas, if you're the instructor of a course, you go in with a, if I put together a bad class, I'm neglecting other people of education, as well as wasting money. Like, you gotta remember, it costs money to take college classes. So, if I have a class that doesn't teach you anything, I've just wasted some of your money. Like, there's no question about that. And I don't want to waste people's money. I want to have a class where people enjoy the class. They learn something that they're going to be able to utilize in the future. Right, when I connect this. Oh, you're not connected over there. Okay. You don't realize you can get around this corner and I can't hit you. And you're going to blow up anyways, which is kind of odd. That's okay. There seems to be a lot of things down there. Somebody's explored part of this. It looks like... Is this really a cave that goes, like, way back here? Or is that just the edge? No, that looks like the edge. Oh, there's a skeleton down there I gotta watch out for. 
Not ideal UHC, that's for sure. So I'm getting a little nervous because I'm going to have to do a lot of work at PAX just to make sure I'm in line for class, which is kind of annoying because I didn't want to spend my time at PAX preparing for real world. I wanted to actually be like in my own fantasy world. Not really a fantasy world, but I wanted to spend my time at PAX in like vacation type mode, but it's not going to be 100% possible for me to do that. But we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully well. Where was that other iron? Over there. Okay. So a funny thing that happened this <laughs> this week is uh, my girlfriend is really big with like Groupon and finding like Groupons and living social discounts and things like that on, on useful items. And one of the things that they had recently was for a house cleaning service. Like one time for 60 bucks for so many hours. Granted, they won't be able to clean your entire house. But she was like, you know what? Let's get our house professionally cleaned. Let's spend the sixty dollars. Um, get them to like make the bathrooms look spotless. You know things like that. The kitchen maybe, and we'll see how much farther the money can go. Uh, so we're like my other roommate and I. We're like, yeah, definitely, let's do it. Uh, worth the money. You know, we're all working professionals. We can afford it, and it's always nice when somebody else cleans for you. It makes you feel rich for a day or something like that. So she orders this Groupon. And this person's supposed to come over for three and a half hours for cleaning. So we're like, okay, what do we want clean? We have three bathrooms in the house. Let's put the bathrooms on the docket and let's put like the kitchen and see if we can get those looking great. We're going to feel good. So person was coming over not even that early on the weekend. However, you know, I'd been working the night shift. So I think they were coming over at one, but I've been working the night shift. So my body at one o'clock in the afternoon had been used to sleeping. I was getting going to sleep at like six and seven in the morning on days that I wasn't working. And one o'clock was not time for me to want to wake up. But come about 1230, Julia wakes me up and she's like, Jeff, get up. The, uh, the cleaning person's going to be here soon. And I was like, OK, whatever, you know, cleaning person going to be here. She's like. So let's get up and get some cleaning done before they get here. And I like, like, it's in my slumber, I was like, what? I don't, what'd you just say? Like, I figured maybe I had misheard the, <laughs> what she had actually asked for and what she said. And she's like, no, we should get some things straightened up and cleaned up before the cleaning person gets here. And I was like, what are you talking about? Why on earth would we clean before the cleaning person gets here? And she's like, well, you have to. You can't have just like everything completely like dirty and a mess. I'm like, that's what we're paying them for. That's that's the point of having a cleaning person. It's not like we have, you know, you know, beer cans thrown around on the ground all over the kitchen. We're not living like slobs. Granted, the, the kitchen's relatively messy right now, but wasn't that part of the point of why we got the service? So what do we do? We had to get up and, you know, to, a, to appease the lady, get up and do a little bit of cleaning. So pretty much when this cleaning person gets here, they walk in and they look at the house and they're like, they're like, oh, so I'm not going to have to my work that cut out for me because things are relatively clean already. And I'm just thinking in my mind, I've heard of a lot of people being like this before. I remember my parents, uh, when I was a kid, they had a cleaning person come over to the house like once because uh, they were like, well, we'll check out, you know, cleaning people or whatever and see if they're they're worth it because we knew some people who always had cleaners. They always had cleaning people. I don't know why um, they, I guess if you always have them too and it's always the same people, you probably get a really good, like a really good price per cleanliness comparison i guess because they're always at your house they know exactly what you want they know what they have to clean they know it's dirty but when you only do it like once you're kind of like well you know you get what they do for you and hope that they do what you wanted them to do and if not you just you don't get them again i guess but it you know defeats the purpose of having somebody long term but anyways so we Get up and we clean for a little bit and people, uh, my parents had the same thought process when they got their cleaning person for a day. And part of it was because of, wow, hi, zombie dude. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And it was because they didn't want some random stranger who was coming over to clean to think that we lived like slobs. And it's kind of like, well, if you don't live like a slob, well, I can't say don't live like a slob because I don't feel like we live like a slobs, but see ya. Uh, but if, 
if you have a house that's already clean, you don't need a cleaning person. Therefore, these cleaners would not have a job to do and therefore should be happy when they see that your house looks like a slob. Looks like It looks like you live in complete disgust and horribleness that nobody wants to take part of. I like the fact that I just found a cave. I'm kind of excited about this. Why, creepers, do you do that? I'm not close to you anymore. Oh, they must be having internet problems, too, because they're going really, really slow. There we go. But yeah, that's the that's the nature of the way it is. In fact, is that people, despite what it's for, oh, took me a minute to like register you as a, an enemy for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but people don't want other people to think that they are messy, even when the job is to like clean somebody up in my opinion or clean, clean somebody up clean something up in my opinion that's almost ow, that's almost like going to a, a restaurant and only ordering an appetizer because you want you don't want the restaurant to think that you're hungry that you can't supply yourself with food and have to rely on other people for it. So you're only getting something little just to, whoa, just as like a snack or something like that. Uh, and it's kind of like that in my opinion. I, what I want to do is I want to hire like a random cleaning service for three and a half hours and just have the house be an utter complete disaster. Like, I mean, like I described really like, man, if we had like a somebody come over to my fraternity house and I was in a fraternity, that would have been hilarious because they I, they think they'd walk in and be like I don't know what to do and they, they probably walk out which is ironic because it's completely against exactly what I'm saying but I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't be upset if somebody had walked out of our fraternity house that we hired to come clean it because of the fact that we were not exactly what you call cleanly individuals there especially after like a campus-wide party god it was a disaster we used to be so in regret near the end of the night at the party of just thinking of oh my god what chore do i have tomorrow because i really hope it's not like the rec room because this is going to take me hours to even make look somewhat presentable and at the same oh, oh god get away get away get away get away at the same time as saying that i wouldn't you know be upset if somebody had walked out of the house with you know having to come over to our fraternity house and clean isn't that what their job is i mean don't go into the cleaning business oh geez don't go into the cleaning business if you're not going to clean up dirty messes and i'm not saying that the person who came over was upset or anything like that about our house i shouldn't even say anything about it being clean or it being dirty so for all i know is she was you know didn't even notice the that's weird she didn't even notice the fact that we had straightened it up at all or didn't even care. Or maybe she was upset at the fact that we straightened it up for all I know. I mean, I have absolutely no idea. I just see the irony in the situation is so weird to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys have experiences with the same things. Probably not because I just, I don't know. But you, but you could at the same time. I don't know. Getting myself some more iron. See, this iron's gonna be great because I need it to make like I need to make iron gates. What is this anyway? I'm breaking two iron shovel. I need to make iron gates. I need to make some rail for like the ski jump and things like that. Hi, creepy, creepy McCreeperson. Are you gonna blow up back there too? My God, this makes it so difficult. I think this is the dead end as well. There we go. Okay, now that I did that, put that water out. More coal, which is good because... Oh, I thought that was... That's weird. I don't think that happened anymore. Is this, like, just to the ocean? It is. I don't know if I can make it out of here fast enough. Oh god. It's gonna be close. It's raining. God, that was close. Whoa! <laughs> hey there, good land. Well, so now I have a base idea of where I'm at. I guess I can... Oh, should I put a pillar and mark? 
Why are you going so slowly this time? Get it up there. Woo! Oh, get away, squid. Need to put a pillar up and go drop some of the stuff off. But this way I'll be able to... There we go. Come find this again uh, pretty easily when I want to go back down to that cave. I just think I need some more supplies, like make some more torches and things like that. So this is the jungle. Yeah, that's gotta be that's gotta be good land. As I said, I haven't been on too much lately, unfortunately, because you know just of the limited resource availability and the time it would take me to get the resources I need to do a lot of stuff. So I haven't been on making many many videos. I have been on collecting some resources uh, time and time again, and I'll go for like a week where I log into here every day for like an hour or two and collect things that you guys don't see because I don't make videos of it. And I just got myself stuck in a tree. And a really choppy tree at that. But that being the case, you guys are going to see this when I'm off at PAX. It's not that special of an episode. Hell, let's be honest. Most of my episodes are not very special, but you guys stick with them and watch them with me. And that's what that's what makes it all worth it to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. But I look forward to meeting a lot of you guys at PAX. I've probably met some of you guys already uh, who are watching this episode. Um, I don't know how many people are going to PAX. For, you know, that are fans of my particular channel, I'm not sure. But if I met you, good to meet you. And if not, I'll meet you someday, maybe. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.